Hi everyone, this is Simon Barker, that's Barker Electrical, and I'm going to go through the hidden electrical issues and faults that you can find before they turn into expensive replacements. So it's seven simple things that you can have a look at in your home or your office. And if you've got these issues, you know you can do something about it now before it turns into an expensive job. So I'm going to give you the seven signs, the seven things to look for so that you can do that. So first up, are your lights flickering occasionally? Uh, you know, now and then you get some lights flicker, whether it's when you touch your switches or they just randomly do it while you sat down. Or have you got any sockets or s switches that are crackling when you use them? So you plug it in, it's crackling, you can hear something in the background very faint. Uh, so switches, sockets, different accessories when they're in use or when they're switched. The second thing, do you have any occasional tripping of the breaker or blowing fuses back at the fuse board? Because if you have that, it's an indicator of, it could be a number of things, but it could be an appliance on the way out. And if you just ignore it and keep resetting it, that problem is likely to get worse and worse and worse and escalate until something until you're not going to be able to switch it on at all. By that point it might be more costly to repair. So the third thing, do you have any dated, worn or discoloured fittings? They tend to be light fittings a lot, especially the old sailing pendants where um, a, a lot of people used to have the old 60 watt halogens or even 100 watt halogens or filament, the filament lamps or bulbs, whatever you want to call them, uh, that they would have replaced eventually with compact fluorescent, the little tubes, or LED. So if you've still got those, you might have this discolor, discoloring. Even if you haven't, that discoloring could mean that the cable inside has dried out uh, is, and the insulation is very brittle so they could do with being looked at and that's the indicator of it dated, worn or discoloured. So fourth, spotlights are they going out all the time? Are you getting them where the odd one goes out another one goes out after and if you've got mains ones it's not too bad but if you've got 12 volt ones the transformers can go just as often as what the lamps do so are they going a lot though because it can be more than just cheap parts it can be bad fittings loose connections things like that again they can lead to overheating hazards so you definitely want those looked at as well the next thing number five do you notice what's described as a fishy burning smell especially on ovens or oven switches shower switches or shower pull cords or back at the board again because you can get loose connections and those loose connections are normally discovered when you get an electrical condition report because that's one of the things that you would check but if you haven't had a check for a while those are going to get loose it just happens over time but if you leave it you can smell it but you leave it it'll end up burning out a really common one is shower pull cords so look out for that number six have you got an rcd device in place now, an RCD device, remember the old ones you used to get the plug in when you use the mower outside. They're the little units with a test button on, a test and a reset button on. Well, nowadays you would get them on your fuse board or distribution board. And so, they, again, they've got the little test button on, normally a yellow button with a T on it, or a black button with a T on it. And you're supposed to press them to make sure it works. So, if you press yours, make sure it works and that it trips out when you press it and then you can reset it and you're back on again. If you don't have any RCD devices, it means that you're missing out on having the most up-to-date and most sensitive uh, protection. The fuses and breakers are all well and good, but RCDs are much, much quicker. They go instantly when there's even a hint of a fault developing. So if you are getting RCD tripping as well, you know that an appliance might be starting to fail or something else and it wants looking at. So finally, but I'm going to give you some more information after this as well, so hold on. But finally in this list of seven, 
does the wiring look like it's a DIY job or something that a builder or kitchen fitter might have done while they were doing the other work if it is something that's not the suspicious and it looks like it hasn't been put in by an electrician telltale signs are just how it's not very good cosmetically or there might be cables loose down the wall not even secured properly within the plaster and things like that just a bit shoddy looking you know what I'm saying now I said I've got something else for you as well and I have and it's completely free don't worry I'm not trying to sell you anything I've got more information if you thought that that was useful I've actually got six ebooks and 21 videos and they're all in one place and I don't even want you to put your email address in nothing like that they're just in uh, one area of my website which is sbarker.co.uk now I've got it kind of hidden out of the main menus but if you just put yes in the comments below I'll then forward you the link I'll, I'll get it on messenger and I'll just give you the link on messenger so if you're interested in those six ebooks and 21 videos which explain a whole load of different electrical things for homeowners estate agents landlords officers tenants and so on pot testing inspections the lot it's all in there and that's yours so if you like this the other thing I'd like you to do is share it with your friends so that they can also check their home using this list of seven things that I've mentioned and finally if you like this video just give me a like show me some love or add your comments below thanks for watching Simon Barker, S. Barker Electrical.